Well, hello, you scurvy devils, ya. If you're here for a pirate campaign, then you're here for a right. Yeah, baby. Or something. That's what I'm talking about. Well, welcome back to the channel. This is David with Fairman. I mean, this is David the Pirate. Little confusing. We're here for another adventure. This time we're going to be flying the Black Sails, my friend. No, it's not SpongeBob yes. either. We're going to do this campaign difficulty on hard and very hard. Yeah, that's how we Very love hard it. and hard. Super hard. Pirates ain't the smartest people. But we sure can do something. Whatever the hell it is, I don't know, but we're going to try to do it on this here damn campaign. Let's start it out, shall we? Now, as we get started here, you're probably going to be wondering, am I going to be doing this whole campaign with a pirate voice? Sure hope so. You're damn right I am. Awesome. I'm going to do the whole damn thing with a pirate voice, so I hope you're damn well ready for it, Hell's because the, yeah, yeah. we're going to get to it. So here on this pirate campaign, the thing you have to know is, to be able to get to your buildings, you have to go into the lists to be able to get to them. Because of some damn reason, the game don't like ye pirates. So we have to do all kinds of things, because you can't click on them without going to ye lists. And clicking on the region, and then going to the damn buildings and the building browser is wholly confusing. And it's a pain in the butt, but it only happens for the first couple turns. And then it gets better. The same thing with finding your fleets. It's a total pain in the butt. The backside, if you will. Booty. But, anyways, before we hang our derriere off the back of the boat, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these fleets because we're not going to need them all. Because some of the ships are just downright trash. So, we're getting rid of them. What we want is the fifth rates and... The Zabaks, or however the hell you damn well say them. We're pirates. We ain't that damn smart. But anyways, here are the, some of these fleets. We will keep them because we need to find ourselves any nation because we're at war with every damn buddy because that's how we damn well roll as the pirates. That's how we roll. So we're trying to find any fleet we can so that we can raid them, take their ships, and trade them for money. And if they do happen to have fifth rates, we'll take those for E fleet. So I hope you're following along with that strategy because that's how we're gonna be rolling in this darn campaign. All right, so there's gonna be a couple ground rules we're gonna have while we're doing this here campaign. The first one is nobody gets to criticize my pirate voice. Just follow along with me as I click and do things and jumble around and build things and all kinds of crazy things like that. But hear me out. Nobody gets to criticize me voice because number one... Can't wait to hear this one. What could it be? I've had too much rum. How cliche. Now, back to the darn video. Here you can see we're taking our pirate fleet. Now, if you're wondering how I do my strategies on naval warfare, I suggest you look at the link in the description for my tutorial on how to do naval battles in the Martin War. I think it can be quite helpful for you land lovers. All right, there's one other thing I want to address. In this campaign, we're also going to be doing a push to get to a thousand subscribers. Subscribe now. So that's the only way we can win this campaign is this, we do get to 1,000 subscribers so that we can get our booty. Heck yeah, the booty. But anyways, if you're here and you're not subscribed, then go ahead and do so. Just do it. It's going to help us win this campaign. All right, with all those things covered, let's go ahead and enjoy this battle for what it is, a nice bit of naval action. Now, I'm going to let you enjoy this battle and some music along with it because doing this damn pirate voice is hurting the hell out of my throat. What about so we're going to take a break for just a minute while you enjoy the battle.
that music was beautiful. It just made my pirate head feel so good. Or maybe it was the rub. I don't quite know. Now, isn't that just a beautiful sight to behold? I must say it is. I have a sinking feeling about this. I feel like I'm actually on one of those ships. Way to go, Empire to War. These are some great naval action. And once again, if you haven't forgotten, if you were wanting to know how I do my naval strategies, always take a look in the description. I am leaving a link on my naval tactics video below.
think someone just fell off the poop deck. Poor son of a gun. Heroic victory indeed. Now, here's the part where we are going to number one, make sure we take any valuable ships, or number two, take the money. Take the money sounds good to me. In this case, we take the trade ships. Go figure. They're going to be valuable indeed. Do you say so? So, if you landlubbers are wanting to know what's going on now, we are sending our fleets back to the Americas. We need to refit some of our ships, but also we're sending some to the trade routes in South America. It's going to be important that we do establish good trade, as pirate income is not something that's easy to come by. Now, the other thing is, we need to establish dominance over the waves by making sure that we have fleets all over the place, but we have to start this out with a little sense. And good thing I have plenty of brains because I drink all kinds of rum. All right, so now what we wanna do is make sure we've moved all of our fleets before we end the turn. We still have a few that we haven't dealt with yet. So what we need to do is figure out where we're gonna send them that we can either A, find some other fleets to intercept and take and steal, or raid trade routes, or send them back to where we can make sure we are protecting our home regions. So let's figure out where we're gonna do this. Apparently we're gonna come back to that fleet because over here in the Indian Ocean, or rather the East Indies, we're going to intercept a Dutch fleet that we know is going to be over here at the bottom of the East Indies, just because I know things. It happens when you drink lots of rum. Whatevs. So, let's intercept this fleet and see if we can take. Should I? Uh, no. Should I say it? Some booty? <laughs> ah, well, looky there. There's the Dutch. Well, we're going to go ahead and let this battle play out. As I go and get me another bottle of the good old rum. So enjoy some music and we'll catch back in just a few minutes.
Well, it looks like death cometh. Death is definitely cometh for the Dutch. I guess they uh, should have double Dutch down or... Uh, uh, I don't know. I had too much rum. Just forgive me. Who says size doesn't matter? Of course, you, you know where I'm going with it. Well, let's get our little skiffy boat over here. Let's see if we can throw our... No, I probably shouldn't go with that. Anyways, let's look at the black sails. Well, I guess the Dutch boys, they, uh, one of them better be glad he wore his brown pants, as Deadpool would say. Well, anyway, looks like we're gonna shimmy on over here and take this bad boy and finish off this battle, so I hope you did enjoy our little rampage. It took quite a while, but we got the job done. This is going to be a pretty profitable little venture here as we run through these poor little beggars. All right, while we finish this little encounter, let's not forget that Dusty threw the gauntlet down from Total Wars Masters YouTube channel for a campaign challenge of who can get the most protectorates. If you have interest in doing this challenge, message in the comment section below. All right. What a beautiful fight. And we take all the ships, luckily. Right now, it looks like 5,900 is what we're going to be able to take. But wait here just a minute. We're going to end up taking a couple of these here vessels, as I think it is important to add some of these to our fleet. So let's get that done and bank the rest. We're sitting at a whopping 9,900, which is marvelous. Marvelous indeed. This is how pirates make their money in Empire Total War. You can't do it the old-fashioned way of uh, earning it. <laughs> That's for idiots. Like the Dutch. Or Stephen, should I say don't it? Do the it. French. <laughs> I told you don't do it. All right. With that fight behind us, let's go back to our list. Because that's what we do in the pirate world. We check our list and check it twice to see who's been naughty or nice. You didn't think I'd say that, did you? So we still have this fleet that we were talking about earlier. So we got to figure out what we're going to do here with this here fleet. And I think I have the perfect solution for it. I just don't seem to know it yet in the damn game. We're going to send them on over to India. There, I believe, we can find plenty of ships that either one of the Indian nations, Maratha or the Mughal, will provide for us to take. And we can earn quite a bit of income there from them. Now, a couple other things as we go through our list. We need to make sure that we get all these ships over here, but we got a couple other fleets that we could possibly take, and those would be by the silly British. They always seem to want to have a fleet here or there and we'll definitely go ahead and take them off their hands. So let's go ahead and scurry on over here for sail, I guess. If you care to call it that. And there we go. Here's the Blit Blitish. No, not the Blitish. I have too much rum. The British. That's right. The British fleet is there. So here we go. We got us a neighbor. Not a neighbor. A naval battle. I told you I had too much rum. So... I think we can go ahead and say this is going to be a pretty nice one. But I forgot to record it, so here we go. Here's the uh, results as we take the ships and get that booty that we all love, because we love the booty here. Let's go ahead and sail back over to our capital region, our capital island, which is the Leeward Islands. Hence for name Pirate Bay Cove or something. I don't know. We'll name it something. If you have any suggestions, comment in the section. Not comment. Say so in the comment section below. I told you I had too much rum. I can't even think anymore. Comment down below if you have an idea of what you want to call our base of operations. 
All right, so here's what I was talking about. We made sure we took our shipyards and we turned them into ports. That way we can make trade income rather than making ships of war, which we're going to steal anyways. Why buy them when you can steal them? Makes sense to me as a pirate. Should make sense to you. Don't ever build ships when you're a pirate. You take them, dummies. That's how you do it. If you ever see somebody do that in a pirate campaign, slap them across the head, because they're clearly not a pirate. Ah, shiver me timbers, it does. Cringy. Haha, <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Unfortunately. All right, so here we are going to do something. I know it's going to be hard for you to believe. We're going to start building up our land forces. Buccaneers do go on land, too. You got to go somewhere to get the women, even if they are a couple of hags. So anyway, after we leave our base of operations to check out what's going on around here, we're also going to see about expanding our land mass if that's such a word but we also need to see if we can expand our economy as well on the land I know that sounds crazy but we do have some people that we pick up from our stolen crafts that are going to be willing participants to help man the farms and also like I said that's where the hags come in handy so Let's take a look at our leadership. If there is such a thing in the pirate community, basically it's the person that has the best sword fighting skills gets to lead. But in this case, we're gonna look at their skills of other things, but at least that guy's got some sword fighting skills because he's a tactician. We're gonna see who we can get to get the best ministers in so we can get the best skills so we can make the most darn money. Like I said, the booty is important, and I am a booty man. You should be a booty man too if you're playing Empire Total War, especially as the pirates. Be a booty man and own it. So, here we go. Almost finished with this tiresome task, and I'm sure you're ready to move on from it too, but we're almost finished. Well, anyways, while we're waiting, I'll tell you a joke. It's a ye small joke, but it starts off basically five ministers walk into a bar. Oh, God. Shush. All right. So, five cabinet members walk into a bar. They go up to the bartender and say, oh, and before I forget, they're pirate cabinet ministers. Anyways, they ask the bartender, what do you have to drink around here? And the bartender says... I thought you were rumming things. <laughs> All right, and if that joke wasn't good enough for ye, how about this one? The British are asking for a peace treaty for seven dollars, <laughs> and they want to reach it. They're out of their damn minds. That's not even funny, Britain. Get the hell out of here, friend. Are you absolutely kidding me? The Dutch are just as funny as the British, apparently. <laughs> the joke keeps going. The damn Dutch are at it again. Well, you... Well, you landlubbers are going to have to wait until next video for that one. So tune in for part two of the Pirate Campaign to 1,000 subscribers. What, you're still here? Well, just in case you didn't know, I don't even need alcohol to be this crazy.